Public transit use has been falling in California for some time. And in Southern California, it's falling even more sharply. Researchers at the UCLA Institute of Transportation Studies looked at the data to try to figure out what's going on. It's probably not that transit is more expensive to use. Fares in Southern California and statewide haven't changed much. Low gas prices may play some role, but probably not a big one. Gas prices have jumped up and down as transit use has dipped. Rideshare companies such as Lyft and Uber might be having some effect, but transit use started declining before they were popular, and most rideshare users are making different trips at different times than regular transit riders. So what's killing transit ridership? Cars. Lots of cars. In the 1990s, Southern California added about four new people for every one new car. But from 2000 to 2015, Southern California gained more people and a whole lot more cars, nearly one car for every new person. And car ownership spiked among the small portion of people who take most of the transit trips. About 77% of Southern California residents rarely or never use transit, while less than a quarter of residents take 84% of transit rides. Nearly a third of all transit trips are made by just 3% of residents, often people with lower incomes or who were born in other countries. And between 2000 and 2015, the share of foreign-born households without cars dropped by 42%, outpacing the region's average. The fact is that there are many more Californians with cars than ever before, and many of them used to rely heavily on public transit. Because cars provide a range of social and economic benefits, that probably isn't going to change. So in addition to serving the small pool of heavy transit riders, transit agencies should try to attract the much larger pool of people who rarely or never ride. If just one in every four non-riders in Southern California took one transit trip every two weeks, the region's losses in ridership would be easily reversed. How can we get more people onto transit? Studies show that improving everyone's transit experience makes people much more likely to take an occasional ride we can implement a statewide ticket service to allow the same ticket to be used across different transit systems and modes. We can build more bus-only lanes on major streets. We can increase the frequency and reliability of the most popular transit routes. We can allow more housing to be built near transit stations and require less parking to help lower housing costs and encourage people to ride transit more often. But the most important improvement involves the pricing of transportation. Transit fares should vary depending on the type of service, who is riding, how far they ride, and when they take their trip. And sometimes, transit should be free. Roads, curbs, and parking are expensive to provide, yet drivers are usually allowed to access them for free. Instead, we can price driving to reduce congestion, pollution, and make riding transit more attractive. Cars might be the cause of the ridership decline in California, but if we work toward a comprehensive transit future, they can also be part of the solution. For more information, visit its.ucla.edu and transitwiki.org.